Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Stealth Disguise Leonardo. That's right, some new variants of some of the turtles are starting to hit store shelves right now, so let's go ahead and check out this new Stealth Disguise version of Leo. As you can see, he comes in the same style out of the Shadows blister card packaging, which features an image of Leonardo straight out of the film on the upper portion of the box, and a blister bubble that fully showcases our action figure within. If you rotate this around to the backside, we just get a cross cell showcasing all of the figures currently available in the Out of the Shadows line. So let's go ahead and pull our stealth disguised Leonardo action figure outside of the box and take a closer look at him. So you'll notice that this particular version of Leo is called Stealth Disguise, um, but there's a lot of things going on here that makes him very unstealth-like. Um, he's wearing this hooded outfit, which is actually kind of neat. I really like the look of it. Um, you can see he's just got a cool little hood that comes over his head. You can see the blue bandana still kind of poking through the back, which I thought was a really nice touch. Uh, so that's pretty neat. But this is all sculpted. It's part of the sculpt there. And you can see it does kind of articulate uh, separately from the jacket. You can kind of see where the cut is down here. Um, so then the upper body is sculpted wearing this jacket. It does have like this chain sculpt on there as well. Uh, that's one of the things I'm kind of thinking like how stealthy is it to run around with like a chain and a padlock strapped to you? Um, but yeah, you you can see he's got this chain with this padlock. It is painted with a nice silver and gold color. We got the black strap, the red of the hoodie, uh, and then like the gray sleeves. As you rotate around to the back, you'll notice that the color stops on the back. That always kind of bums me out when that happens. He's just unpainted back here. So the black uh, part of the strap just kind of stops there. But you can see he does have like a, a blue bag there as well. Um, the chain is a separate piece over the figure. You can see it's kind of loose there. It's glued so it doesn't come off. Um, but there is like a little uh, groove right there where it's supposed to be sitting in. So he looks like he's got like a blue backpack or something on his back, but then he's also got a sword sheath for his two katanas. And the chain is apparently what's holding that on. It's like wrapped around it. You can see there and then kind of wrapped around his body. So again, uh, I don't know how stealthy he's going to be when he's running around with this chain on there. Ching, 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 because that's all I can think about. Uh, but as you come down the figure, you can see he's got some shorts on. He's wearing blue knee pads on over that. And he's wearing two different tennis shoes, which is a bit odd. And again, uh, doesn't seem very stealthy to be running around in shoes like this when he could just be barefoot like a turtle normally would be. Uh, but I digress. He's got one blue tennis shoe and one gray shoe. You can see they're completely different designs there. There. Um, it's kind of funny. I don't know why these particular turtles wear so much mismatched stuff, um, but I don't know. It's just kind of a gag that they've been doing. But let's bring some attention up here to the hands. You notice something different about these hands? He's got more humanoid looking fingers. In fact, he's got three fingers and a thumb on each hand as opposed to just having two fingers and a thumb. Um, so he's got one extra finger, still not five like a human but you can see it's more of like a human shaped hand which is really bizarre looking it's strange also I got a bit of a paint smudge here which is unfortunate but part of the plot of this movie is going to focus on like the retro mutants and stuff that supposedly can turn them human so that's got to be why this particular figure has the human like hands there so let's go ahead and talk articulation with this figure. Uh, I showed you how that head is jointed there. Uh, it's not moving very much because it hits the sculpt of the upper body there. Um, the way they kind of sculpted this coat to come up on the hood, the head almost has to stay in place. You can kind of move it left and right, but not very much. He does have those ball-like joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go upwards, forwards, backwards there. You got swivels at the elbow, standard joint at the elbow swivels at the wrist uh, nothing in the torso or the waist there but then we have those hinge joints at the thighs so legs can go outwards forwards backwards you got that swivel there you do have a nice knee bend and a swivel at the knee uh, and then nothing else in the lower legs but it's a decent amount of articulation there um, you can get them posed around it's just the head that you really can't turn um, which causes some problems when trying to pose them different ways uh, as far as his weapons, he just comes with the signature katana blades. They are just molded in that kind of silvery gray plastic. They uh, look a lot like the katanas that we got with our standard release, Leo. I do really like this sheath because they clip into place in there. They hold really tight. 
you actually push them in and they lock in place. So that's pretty cool. And then of course you can uh, put them in his hands. He's got a good grip with those uh, new human-like fingers so he can hold on to both of the swords there. Uh, and he poses pretty good. So pretty neat looking figure. Um, I actually do like him quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him next to the standard release Leonardo for a little bit of comparison time. Just so you can see these two standing side by side to see what the big differences are. Of course this new guy, again, running joke here. He's still this guy's Leo, but obviously standard Leo is going to be way more stealthy than this guy. But even so, I kind of like the look of him. Um, the actual realistic fingers are a little weird for me, but the rest of the figure I like the look of. Um, he's got a pretty decent paint job, except for the part where he's unpainted on the back. Um, but I kind of like the hood pulled up over him and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just a fun looking figure and just a really neat variant if you're a collector of uh, the variants. You like the variants in these lines or you're just a big fan of uh, the Turtles collection. So these particular figures are starting to hit store shelves right now. Uh, these specifically are hitting Walmart stores, so happy hunting, my friends. Very special thanks to Playmates Toys for sending this along so we can get a good look at them outside of the packaging. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Turtles reviews. Until next time, my friends.